This is Ron of Super 8 to Video. In this video, I show how to mix bright and dark scenes, making a single movie with the best light settings using Video Studio Ultimate 10. First, we start Video Studio Pro by double clicking its shortcut. And then select Edit. Now right click here on this movie wheel symbol on this second track which is called the overlay track. Make sure you click the wheel and not over here on the timeline. So right click then select insert track below by left clicking it. Now we will do it three more times. Right click the wheel, then left click, insert track below. Now again, right click and then click insert track below. Now one more time, right click the wheel, and then left click insert track below. Now we have five overlay tracks and one track above these five. I will call this one above the other five the magnetic track because any clip brought onto this track gets pulled to the left and gets stuck to the clip before it. The overlay tracks do not have this magnetic feature. Now I'll come up here to the minimize maximize bar and select this square to half minimize Video Studio Pro. I am double left clicking the folder where I have my five movies. Now I am left clicking and holding the darkest movie first and moving it to the overlay track number one. I put in each of their names a lightness setting. The first one I chose happens to be darker minus 0.5. The next one I will choose will be exposure zero. I like to work from darker to lighter, but of course you can do it in any order. Now I will do it again. Left click and hold and bring in zero exposure. Now I am bringing in plus 0.5 exposure. Now plus one exposure and finally plus 1.5 exposure. Now let's re-maximize Video Studio Pro by left clicking in this minimize maximize square again. Let's make sure all five of the movies are all pushed to the beginning of the track by left click and hold, then push to the left. Left click and hold, then push to the left. Left click and hold, then push to the left. Left click and hold, then push to the left. Left click and hold, then push to the left. Now let's set the correct speed for Super 8 on each track by double clicking a track and select edit if we have to. Then left click speed time lapse, come to speed, highlight it, and type 60 for 60%. Then click OK. Now I'll do it to the other four tracks. One more time. 
double click the second track to select it. Since edit is already selected, we come to speed, time lapse, single left click it, highlight speed, and type 60, and then hit OK. Now I'll do it three more times. Double click, speed time lapse, speed, and 60, and then hit OK. Double click, speed time lapse, speed, and 60, and then hit OK. Double click, speed time lapse, speed, and 60, and then hit OK. To do what I am going to do next, you have to change it from the edit to attribute mode first, and you do that by single left clicking here. Since I like my tracks to go from left to right like I am reading a book, I like the darkest one to be first. Left single click the first track. Then come up here and right single click here in the yellow box. Then select anchor at top left. Now select track 2 by left single clicking it. Then come up here and again right single click but this time select anchor at top right. Now select the third track left single click then right single click but now select anchor at bottom left. Let's select the fourth track left single click, right click, now let's select anchor at bottom right. Select the final track by left click, right click, let's select anchor at center, center. If you notice it's like reading a book, darkest, a little lighter, lighter still, even brighter, and finally in the middle is the brightest movie at plus 1.5 setting on the Wolverine. But remember the Wolverine is capable of even brighter at plus 0.2. Now let's left click on project. This arrow here takes us to the beginning of the project. So let's left click it. Now we are going to move one frame forward at a time by clicking this arrow. Each left click moves all five movies forward one frame at a time. One, two. Notice the red in the left corner that is a great reference. If you notice it is on the first track. Remember we set it to anchor at top left. Let's select it by left single clicking the track here. Now come up here to the scissors and left click the scissors. That split track one and only that track into two pieces. To see the pieces let's go here to the zoom in and zoom in by hitting the plus magnification symbol. Each time I left click this symbol it zooms in a little more. One, 
two, three, four, five. Now let's come here and select this newly created section by left clicking it and then hit the delete key on my keyboard. Now let's move forward by hitting the single frame forward one frame at a time. One, two, by pure coincidence the next frame that shows the red in the corner of the frame is track two. It is important to select the clip first before you hit the scissors. Otherwise it is going to split all the tracks at once. So let's single left click track two first. Now come up to the scissors and left click it. Now select the newly created section by left clicking it and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Let's move one frame at a time forward again by hitting the one frame at a time arrow. Notice the red is on the fifth track. So left click track five first. Then come to the scissors and now left click the new section and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Now let's move one frame at a time again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now if you look the red is on track four. So let's select it first, then go to the scissors, left click, and now let's go to the newly created clip, left click, and now hit the delete key on your keyboard. Now I already know this film here in track three was started without the leader, so it is missing this red spot. We will align it up later in this video. Now let's put all these other four videos at the beginning of the timeline. We do that by left click and holding on each clip, one at a time and pushing them over to the beginning. First track, second track, fourth track and fifth track. Now because track three starts early we will push it over to the right a little. This will cause it to start playing a few frames after the other movie start. Because it makes it easier to navigate I am coming over to the zoom in and out. I am going to zoom out some by left single clicking the minus magnification symbol. One, two, three, four, five. Now I am selecting project and then hitting this arrow that takes us to the very beginning of the project. I am going to hit the play button by left single clicking it, but first I want to enlarge the pictures. To do that I single left click this double square symbol next to the scissors. It takes us out of the edit area but allows us to see the films more enlarged. Now I am hitting the play button. I have paused the movies here. To me it is close between track 4 or 5 on which film has the better lighting. But I prefer track 4 
So now to get back to the edit mode, all I do is hit the escape key on my keyboard. Now I know this surfing scene ends near to the 54 second mark. So let's fast forward to there. I do that by left click and holding the scrubber here and moving it over near the 54 second mark. Now I am going to move forward one frame at a time again by hitting this arrow. Now this time we are not going to select a track and I stress that do not select a track but come directly to the scissors and left single click them. That cuts all the tracks at once. Notice track 3 is out of sync but we will deal with that in a moment. Now I am going to delete the surfing scene in all the movies except on track 4. Single left click track 1 hit delete on the keyboard. Single left click track 2 and hit delete on the keyboard. Single left click track 3 and hit delete on the keyboard. Now you guessed it, single left click track 5 and hit delete on the keyboard. Let's now deal with track 3 that is out of sync with the other four videos. First click on track 3. Now let's grab the scrubber by left single clicking and holding it and slowly move it forward until we see the woman holding the kangaroo. Now let go and then go up to the scissors and left single click it. Now come down and select the newly created clip by left single clicking and then hit delete on the keyboard. Let's select track 3 by left single clicking and holding and let's push it over to where it is in alignment with the other four movies. Now all five movies are in sync when played. At this point I like to move the first good lighting clip we created to the magnetic track. By left single clicking and holding I move it to the magnetic track and then I let go of the left click. It automatically aligns itself to the beginning of this magnetic track. Let's move the scrubber to just before the five movies begin to play. To play them in the larger format again hit this double square symbol next to the scissors. Now let's select project and then play. I have stopped the film. I think I prefer track 1 because the kangaroo's skin looks best and the woman's pants do not seem to glow like in track 2. So let's hit the escape key on our keyboard again to get back into edit mode and let's grab the scrubber and left single click and hold it and slowly move to the end of the scene with the woman. Now left single click the single frame forward and backward arrows to get it exactly where we want to edit our scene. We want it to be just before the next scene begins because if we select it to where the next scene begins when we split the clip it will include one frame of the next scene. So right here is perfect. Now remember we do not want to select any tracks before we hit the scissors. 
Notice when I hit the scissors, it creates a new clip on all five movies at once. I will select and delete track two and hit delete key. Now track three, delete. Track four, delete. Track five, delete. Let's move this new clip we created up to the magnetic track. It will automatically get sucked to the end of the last scene. Now let's grab the scrubber and move it to just before the five movies begin to play. Let's enlarge the picture, select project, then hit play. Notice how at first this man in the white tank top cannot be seen except on track five. But as we move the film forward, as he begins to stand up, the lighting changes and we can suddenly see him. So let's go back to edit mode by hitting escape key and move the scrubber to just as he begins to stand. Remember, you can fine tune the frame by hitting these forward and backward arrow keys. Right about here is where I want the edit point. Now let's hit the scissors and select one, delete, two, delete, three, delete, four, delete, now let's move this good scene to the magnetic strip. Grab the scrubber and move it to just to where it begins to play all five movies. Come here and hit this double square symbol next to the scissors to enlarge the picture, select project, and then hit play. Now I have stopped the play and I think track 3 has the best picture. So I hit the escape key on my keyboard, grab the scrubber and move it to just before the next scene begins. Remember that is just before the next scene begins. Hit the scissors, come down, track 1 delete, track 2, delete, track 4, delete, track 5, delete. Now move track 3 to the magnetic strip. Come to just before the five movies play, hit the double squares to enlarge the movies. You get the idea. I will go through the entire movie scene by scene in this way. So now, to save time, I am editing this tutorial at this point to where I have the entire movie done. Now here is the entire movie after all my lighting edits. At this point, you can add titles, transitions, etc and then hit share and render the movie. I am going to render this movie and then I will run it through neat video to get rid of most of the noise and improve its picture. I will upload this video after I have played around with neat video. I will call it something like my second look at neat video. This is Ron of Super 8 to video signing off.